In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the Declaration of Independence from Great Britain in the second year of the Revolutionary War. Big idea is that the colonies formally declared their independence from Great Britain. Main ideas, Thomas Paine's pamphlet, Common Sense, led many colonists to support the idea of independence. And the colonists had differing reactions to the Declaration of Independence. Main idea one, Thomas Paine's common sense led many colonists to support independence. Common sense was a 47 page pamphlet written by an Englishman by the name of Thomas Paine. And it was published in January, 1776. This pamphlet urged the colonies to separate from Great Britain to declare their independence. Uh, war is already ongoing from Paine's point of view. Uh, there was no point in, in trying to remain part of the British Empire. It was time for the colonies to become independent from the empire. He argued that citizens, not monarchs, should make laws that it was the people themselves who should be in charge of the government, not a king uh, or other ruler. Paine argued for economic freedom and the right to military self-defense. He argued that the colonists had the right to defend themselves against what he saw as aggression by George III, who was king of England. Uh, he cried out against tyranny. Uh, that would be the abuse of government power, and he believed that the people had the right to fight against it. Uh, this pamphlet reached a very wide audience in the colonies. It sold somewhere around 500,000 copies, uh, and this is a huge deal because the colonies themselves only had a population of right around 2 million people. 500,000 copies being sold uh, means that the majority of people were literate. They could read which uh, many people in Europe at the time could not do. They could read and they could comprehend. Uh, and Paine reached an enormous audience with this pamphlet, and many of them uh, agreed with his ideas. Many colonial leaders agreed with Paine's ideas. Uh, the Second Continental Congress created a committee in June 1776 to write a document declaring independence from Great Britain, largely inspired by Thomas Paine's pamphlet, Common Sense. Thomas Jefferson would be the main author, although other members of the committee included Benjamin Franklin and John Adams. The Declaration of Independence formally announced the break with Great Britain. Its first draft condemned slavery uh, was, uh, was presented to Congress on July 2nd, 1776. Uh, this draft was rejected by the Carolinas in Georgia. They demanded that any mention of slavery in the Declaration of Independence be removed and threatened that if it were not removed, that they would not confederate with the other states. Benjamin Franklin convinced Thomas Jefferson to remove this reference to slavery. Uh, the second draft, which ignored the slavery issue, was approved on the 4th of July, 1776. Focus question number one, explain how Thomas Paine's common sense led many colonists to support independence. Main idea two, colonists had differing reactions to the Declaration of Independence. Patriots chose to fight for independence. About 40 to 45 percent of Americans, it is estimated, were patriots. Most of those supported the Declaration of Independence. They wanted independence from the crown. Loyalists, sometimes called Tories, remained loyal to Great Britain. About 20 to 30 percent of Americans were loyalists. They were opposed to the Declaration of Independence, and this declaration pushed them more towards being willing to fight against their other American neighbors. And this, this is one of the things that will ultimately turn uh, the, the Revolutionary War into a civil war as well, as loyalists and patriots will end up fighting against each other. Then there were those that were neutral. About a quarter or 25% of Americans remained neutral on the issue. 
They wanted no part of the war. They didn't want to be involved in it. They wanted to be left alone. They had no interest of the de in the Declaration of Independence. Uh, their main desire was to continue living their lives as they always had. Other reactions to the Declaration? The Declaration itself actually ignored many colonists. It specifically did not address the rights of women. It did not recognize the rights of free African Americans, and obviously it would completely uh, ignore the issue of slavery altogether, which was originally mentioned, but the, uh, the Southern colonies forced the removal uh, of any mention of slavery. Um, the Declaration did not recognize the rights of enslaved African Americans. It did not recognize the rights of Native Americans. In fact, Native Americans uh, in the Declaration are referred to as, uh, as savages. And uh, so there, there are some problems with the language. And that being said, it is still one of the greatest documents ever written in the English language, particularly uh, the second paragraph. Focus question number two. Describe the ways in which colonists had differing reactions to the Declaration of Independence. Remember to include those segments of the population whose rights were not addressed. The essential question, why did the colonies formally declare their independence from Great Britain? 